Hi, Ravi Chakra here. When I was a beginning student under Cheng Men Ching, and we were doing the transition, we were being taught the transition between water off right and roll back and press, where you turn to the right, uh, Professor Cheng said through an interpreter, of course, don't twist. And I'm sure a lot of people got the idea that twisting is bad. So I'd like to first say what I pretty much feel Cheng Min Ching meant and why he's right, but also distinguish between two ways of twisting, namely active and passive twisting. Passive twisting is what's occurring here with this uh, piece of spring steel. It's a flat piece of spring steel and I have attached uh, two C-clamps to it so I can twist it because it's pretty hard to twist with my fingers. And I'm going to try to keep it level as I do. And See, I'm twisting it. I think you can see that that's happening there. It's twisting, twisting, and it springs back, of course. And that is passive twisting. That piece of steel doesn't have any idea that it's going to twist. It's not sentient. It follows whatever is done to it. And that is passive twisting. A sentient being such as a human being can also twist in a passive way. But what Cheng Min Ching was talking about was active twisting, where we decide that we are, go we are going to twist our bodies. So I'll show you that um, standing and show you the move the, both ways and um, show you also how twisting comes into the form in a good way, not an incorrect way. There are two possibilities. Here I am in ward off right and now the next move is turning to the right. And the correct way of doing this is to turn the hips and let the top of the body just rest on the hips. So as one of my teachers said, just let the body be stacked. So I turn, in order to do that, I have to let my left knee drop down. If, no, if I don't use my legs at all, my hips are locked. So I have to turn by dropping that left knee down and the body goes as a unit, turns as a unit. I'm not doing anything with the top except letting it rest on my pelvis. And that's the move. Okay. Not pulling the arms, not pulling the shoulders. But what people were doing at the in this beginning class that I was in were they were not moving their hips at all. They were just pulling their shoulders and then their arms. And that's twisting. The body is twisting. And I think you can see the wrinkles in the shirt that occur when I pull my hips without my shoulders without pull, turning my hips. And that is the correction I give my students when I see them do it. And it took me a long time to be able to move without pulling my shoulders to do that move. But natural passive twisting, not the active twisting that I'm telling you about, the passive twisting occurs and should occur in all moves. So for example, in single whip, when I turn, I'm not doing this and stop. I have to, I had to keep my body from continuing to go from its momentum, its angular momentum. So here, a little bit of creep. And that twisting, that passive twisting, stretches tissues, which then, because of their elasticity, come back and start the next movement. It also happens in the hip joints too with compressing and stretching. That is very good for the body because it's an inner massage. 
it's not something to be avoided. It's something to be nurtured by releasing enough tension that permits that to happen. Thank you.